In today's demonstration, we will highlight how to create a new sales quote and convert it to an order on Dynamics 365 Business Central. I will start by clicking on the new sales quote action in my role center. If you do not have the same action available, you can use the search function. Now, the sales quote page opens. This is my sales quote document with a number of fast tabs like general, invoice details, and so on, as well as lines. First, I will enter my customer. In this case, I will choose one of the existing customers, Tray Research. Next, you can enter additional fields, like the external document number, the contact, the due date, and if there is a requested delivery date. By clicking on Show More, you can enter a number of additional fields, like the campaign no, the opportunity no, and so on. But in this case, let us keep it simple and stick to the basic fields. Next, I will go through the lines, and my customer requests a quote for a number of items. Of course, we are not limited to only items. You can also create a quote for GL account, resource, fixed asset, and charge, item. But in this case, I will use item. The first item that the customer requests is item 1900s, so a number of chairs. I will leave the location code blank and the quantity is 10. Let us go to a second line and also enter the second item. In this case, I will use my new item that I have created in the previous units, the Surface Pro. So the customer also wants a number of these computers, for example, 12 pieces. All right, there we go. This is my quote, a very simple one. You can extend the quote by adding details like discounts, for example. If you scroll to the right, you can see the line discount percent field to encourage the customer and so on. Here, you can see the total fields. The next thing would be sending the quote to the customer. Notice that by clicking on Print Send, there is a Send by Email action that I can now run to send the PDF quote to the customer. If the customer accepts the quote, I can convert my quote to an order. Now, if you click on Process, you will see that there are two options. You can Make Order or Make Invoice. Suppose that you have a quote for services, you may skip the Make Order step. By running the Make Invoice action, the system will convert the quote to an invoice. But because we have included items on our quote, I would like to use the Make Order action. So, I will click on Make Order and Yes. Now the quote has been converted to an order. In the last step, I can also have a look at the order. Let us do this. I will click on Yes again. Here we can now see the sales order. All of a sudden, Business Central is showing notifications telling me that both items are not available. When entering items in a quote, the system does not check the availability because we are not yet sure that the customer will accept the quote. At the moment of entering into quote, the availability is not so important yet. Once you convert a quote to the order, so once the quote is confirmed, then the availability will become very important and now the system will give us the availability warning. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us and follow our YouTube channel for more content just like this. Have a great day.